we're going to do a quick reminder of column subtraction. So if we ask to do 265 minus 37, just like with the column addition, what we want to make sure here is that everything is lined up nicely according to place value. These are hundreds, tens, units, and just to have a look here quite carefully, you see that we made sure that all the units, the 5 and the 7, are in exactly the same column. And this, the tens, the 6 tens, the 3 tens here, they're all lined up nicely in the same column so that you keep everything straight and then um, it's easy to do. Right, we start from the right hand side again. So here we're going to start and we're going to say 5 minus 7. Now that 5 is smaller than 7 so we're not going to do that subtraction. We need to go and take one of the tens from here. So if we take one ten from here, we've only got five tens left. We bring it over here and we get the 10 together with a 5 makes 15, and we say 15 minus 7, and that gives us the answer of 8. Then we say 5 tens minus 3 tens leaves us with 2 tens, and then we have here 2 hundreds minus no hundreds, that leaves us with 2 hundreds, and so our answer is 228. It's always very helpful also just to think, have I got something close to what I expect? So if I just have a look here, this is 265, that's closest to 40, right, if I used my rounding. 265 minus 40 would give me 225, yeah, that looks about the right answer. A quick approximation can help you make sure you don't go far wrong. Okay, I want you to try 803 minus 568. Pause the video and do this in your homework book. Okay, so lined up nicely and we can do the subtraction. So we start from the right and we say 3 minus 8. Well, 3 is smaller than 8, so we don't want to do that. So we go over here to try and get one of the tens to bring over, but there aren't any tens, so we can't bring over from here. So we have to go all the way to the hundreds column. So we can take one of these, so we're left with 7. This then can come over to here, and you've got now 10 tens. And now you can take one of those tens, so you're left with nine of them, and you'll take this 10 over, and you'll have 13, and now you can say 13 minus 8, that works out to 5. Then you look here, and you've got 9 minus 6, that's very easy, your answer is just 3. And then here, 7 minus 5, your answer is 2. So your answer is 235.